Hey, what is up mga bubuyog? Your Matt Beast first back for another video. And yeah, lesson 3 pa rin tayo. Simple stresses. Pero this time, we will solve more problems sa ating sheer stress. Alright? So sa ating previous video, no, nasolve natin itong mahaba-habang uh, question. And for now, we will move on to our next problem, example number 2. Para mas marami tayong practice problems. Okay, so simulan natin. Sabi sa ating problem, the control arm is subjected to the loading shown in the figure. So ito yung loading na sinasabi niya. Itong 3 keeps, tapos itong 5 keeps. Okay, tuloy natin. Determine the nearest 1 fourth inch, the required diameter of the steel pin at C, if the shear stress for the steel is 8 KSI. So, anong bakit nagkaroon ng shear stress? So, i-drawing ko itong pin natin. Kung nakikita nyo ito, maliit kasi enlarge ko lang, no? Yang pin natin, yan, ito yung base niya na to, Yan, ito yung base niya. Tapos, parang tignan natin siya sa side. Parang, yan, nakatayo ka sa side niya. Tignan mo yon para mag-visualize nyo. Okay, so, ito, meron niyang, yan, nak may shape siya ganyan, tapos may shape siya ganyan. So, our pin, ito yung pin na sinasabi ko. Yeah, this is our pin, mga bis, no? Ito yung ating pin. And that pin is holding this member, yung member na to. Yeah. Okay. So, ngayon, mga bis, no? If this is subjected to loading, ibig sabihin, ito rin, mga bis, mabibinat, di ba? Kapag ito, nabinat, hindi naman nabinat, na may load dyan, humihila, hinihila siya pababa, tapos hinihila yun papunta doon sa gilid-gilid, <laughs> gigilid, ayun. Ito mga bis, syempre, yung nakasupport dito na pin, mahihila din yan. Okay? Yan. Mahihila din yan. However, yung pin natin, it will exert a shearing force para i-resist itong force P na to. So, let's say that this is th that force P. Ito yung hinihil, naghihila dyan. That force P, itong ating uh, pin, this pin, will give off a shearing force. Okay? So, yung shearing force na yun, that is equal, mga bisa, P over 2. Okay? P over 2. This shearing force is parallel dito sa ating cross-sectional area ng ating pin. And kung mapapansin nyo, Double shearing siya. Bakit double shearing? Sabi ko nga kung napanood yung previous video natin, i-assume nyo na, map na mapuputol siya. So kung naputol siya, ilang area yung naputol, di ba? Isang area, tsaka isang area dito rin sa kabila. So ibig sabihin, double shearing siya. So kapag double shearing, we know that the formula when solving for that is equal to P over 2A. Okay mga bis? So for now, ang kailangan nating isolve is yung diameter daw ng pin C na to. Okay? So, ano daw yung diameter ng pin C na to para hindi siya mag-fail? Kasi given dito yung allowable shear stress. What do we mean by allowable shear stress? Ang pin support natin kasi mga bis, it has a strength. This material has a strength known as the shear stress na, na mention natin yan sa previous videos natin. And, kapag sumobra yung uh, yung stress natin, yung shear stress natin dito, kapag hindi na niya kinaya, bibigay na siya. Magfi-fail siya, guys. Okay? So, kapag bumigay siya, masisira yung pin natin. Delikado yun. Ayaw natin mangyari yun. So, ngayon, kailangan natin isolve yung tamang diameter, yung tamang laki nitong ating uh, pin para hindi ito mag-fail. Alright? So, yun yung objective natin sa pagsosolve natin dito. So, para ma-solve yun, expand ko lang yung uh, formula ng ating area, di ba? Itong area, mga bis, is equal yan sa pi over 4 times d squared, di ba? And yung hinahanap natin is the diameter which is d. Okay. Analyze natin yung formula. Given ba yung, yung t or the shearing stress? Yes, it is given as 8 ksi. Yung p, given ba? Hindi, mga bis. Okay? So, kailangan natin isolve this value, p. Okay, so paano natin gagawin yan? We use statics ulit. So we draw the FBD. Okay? So the free body diagram. Dun, 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 <laughs> Okay, so ayan. I think medyo gwapo naman siya tignan. Lagay na natin yung mga forces. So meron tayo dito ang 5 kips. ba? This is 5 kips. Tapos meron tayo dito ang 3 kips dito. Ayan. This is 3 kips. Ayan. Tapos meron tayo dito ang 
pin support. And kapag pin support yan mga bis, alalahanin nyo ang pin support ay having, it is having vertical reaction and, 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 and horizontal reaction. So, ito yung mga direction nito, assume pa lang to ha. Hindi to final. I-finalize natin yan kapag nakasol na tayo. So, let's name that CY and CX. And this is, naka-attach siya sa B. So, siyempre, naka-attach yan. Ito, hinihilan niya pag ganun. So, yung force nito is hinihilan niya rin pabalik. Ayan. So, let's name that F, A, B. Okay. Ngayon, mga Bs, no? Kailangan, yung kinakailangan natin mahanap is yung CX and CY. Because that will give us the answer of our P. Kasi parang resultant lang ng CX and CY yung P. Okay, mga B. So, solve natin yan. Simulan natin sa moment with respect to C. Okay? So, let's let's, let's name this as the point C, di ba? Ngayon, mga B, summation of moments with respect to C is equal to zero assuming that clockwise is positive. Okay, so wait lang ha, guys. Uh, gawa lang tayo ng mas malaking... Yan. Simulan natin dito sa 5 keeps. This 5 keeps, mga B, no? Hindi ito yung kukunin natin na force. Kukunin natin yung component niya in the x direction, mga bis. Kasi, this will give us a perpendicular distance to C. Okay? Dapat kasi, yung force natin na mag-cos ng moment is perpendicular sa C. So, yung x component niya dito, hindi to needed. Kasi, it is parallel to C. It doesn't have a perpendicular distance to C. Thus, it will yield a zero moment. So, wag na nating ilagay. Ngayon ang tanong, para natin to makukuha. Guys, sa ating ano, sa ating problem, given na 3 4 5 triangle siya. Okay? So since 3 4 5 triangle siya, mga bis, then in that case, we will use that 3 4 5 triangle to solve for our problem. So this is a 3 4 5 triangle. So i-ratio na lang natin. Ngayon, yung vertical component niya is naka sa 3. So that's 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 5. Okay? Yan, mga bis. Now, i-multiply na natin dito yung vertical distance niya from dito hanggang dito. And nakalimutan kong ilagay na sa given yan, this has a distance of 3 and this has a distance of 2. Dito sa taas, this has a distance of 8. Okay? So, 8 yan, mga bis. So, ang distance niya, perpendicular distance to C is 5. Okay, next. We have uh, the three keeps. So, teka lang pala. Ito mga bis, uh, clockwise ba siya or counter? It is clockwise, di ba? Bang! So, clockwise siya. Dito tayo sa three keeps. Clockwise ba siya? Hindi. Clockwise pa rin. Bang! So, plus three. Ito na yan kasi perpendicular na yan. Huwag na, hindi natin kailang mag-component dyan. So, ano yung perpendicular distance niya going to C? That's three times three. Alright? So, itong CX and CY, wala yan kasi nga, nakadirect siya sa C. And punta tayo sa FAB. Ang FAB, it is going counterclockwise. Wow. So, ibig sabihin, negative siya. Negative FAB. Ano yung perpendicular distance niya? That is given as 8. Wow, nice. Okay, so this is equal to 0. Thus, mga bis, FAB, kasi yun lang yung unknown, masusolve na natin yan. So, Cancel out 5 and 5. We have 5 times 3 is 15. We have 3 times 3 is uh, 3 times 3 mga bis. 9. Tama. Plus 9. Tama. Over 8. So, this is equal to 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8 mga bis is equal to 3. Okay. So, FAB is 3 kips. Okay. So, FAB mga bis is 3 kips. Thus, we can now solve for CX and CY. We just use need to use the summation of forces in the x and y direction. So, summation of forces in the x is equal to 0. Assuming na yung going to the right is positive. So, ano yung mga papuntang right? So, yung papuntang right natin, kukunin na natin yung x component itong 5 keeps. So, that's 5. And yung x component niya, i-ratio natin sa horizontal, which is 4. Ito. Di ba? So, that's 4 over 5. Times, uh, plus, plus pala, plus, Cx, di ba? Plus Cx kasi it's going to the right. Minus Fab which is going to the left. And our Fab is given as 3 keeps, di ba? So this is equal to 0. Thus, we solve for the value of our Cx that is equals to, mag-cancel yung dalawang 5 na to. 
that would be equal to 4 minus 1, which is equal to 1, transpose natin sa kabilang side, magiging negative 1, keep. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, negative siya, mali yung assumption natin dito. Okay? So, this CX should go the other way around. It should go that way. Ah, yun pala. Okay? So, positive na yan. Next, summation of forces naman tayo in the y direction is equal to 0. Assuming na yung pataas is positive. So, yun, ano yung mga nasa y direction? Ito ulit, 5 key, pero kunin ulit natin yung nasa vertical direction. So, 5 times 3 over 5, tapos 3 keeps going down. So, negative, negative pala to kasi going down. Tapos negative 3 kasi going down rin. Tapos yung CY natin, it's going up. So, plus CY is equal to 0. Thus, CY is equal to mag-cancel yung 5, 5. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Transpose sa kabilang side, magiging positive 6. So, that's 6 keeps. Okay? So, 6 keeps and 1 keep. So, alam na natin, mga bis, yung value nitong ating CX and CY. And sabi ko nga kanina, kapag alam na natin yung value ng CX and CY natin, no? Makukuha na natin yung value ng ating P. ba? So, how do we do that, mga bis? Uh, let me just draw it para mas ma-visualize ninyo kung ano yung mga pinagsasabi ko dito. ba? Kasi, uh, ito, i-draw ko lang to itong C ulit natin. Yan. Ito, mga bis. Yan. Meron ito, dito, mga bis. Dito nakasuksok yung pin. <laughs> nakasuksok. Tapos, dito, naka-attach yung member na to. ba? Dito naka-attach yung member na yan. Okay. So, yung member na to, itong member na to, mga bis, it has an, uh, it is exerting a force, no? It is exerting this force. ba? Parang hinihila niya yung uh, naka-attach dito sa pin na to. And, we know that the support reaction is CX and CY. So, to solve for this value of P, this P is the resultant of CX and CY. ba mga bis? Parang triangle lang siya. So, thus solving for P, P is therefore equal to CX squared plus CY squared. And given na yung sinold natin kanina, CX is equal to 1 squared, CY is 6 squared. Thus, we know the value of P which is equal to, uh, calculator natin yan, square root, square root of 1 squared plus 6 squared is equal to square root of 37. Alright? So, square root of 37 is the value of our P. This is keep. And P is the shearing force. Diba? Sabi natin ito, this is the shearing force. Okay? So, tanggalin natin yung mga yan. Yun. Okay. Erase natin yan para may space tayo. Okay. So now, we can now solve for the value of our D. Kasi diba, yung pinapahanap niya is yung value ng ating diameter. And we know that uh, P is square root of 37. Okay. So the value of our tau or the allowable shear stress is 8 KSI. KSI is kilo pounds per inch square. Okay mga bis. Ngayon, Ito, yung P natin is, is 30, square root of 37 kips. Okay? So, ito is equal yan, mga bis, sa P. Ang value ng ating P is, is square root of 37 kips divided by 2 pi over 4 times D squared. So, shift solve nyo lang. Masusolve nyo yung D pero dito magta-transpose. Transpose muna tayo, no? So, this is square root of 37 divided by 8 times 2 times pi over 4. Thus, solving for D, square root natin yan, square root natin yan, D is therefore equal to 6957 inches. Okay? So, this is the required diameter. Ito na ngayon yung sagot natin mga bis. Ano da yung diameter ng steel para ma-resist niya yung maximum which is 8 KSI. Okay? So, ito yung uh, dapat na ilagay natin na pin dito. Pero kung i-analyze natin yung tanong, determine the nearest 1 fourth inch required diameter. So, i-round off down natin siya within 0.5 intervals. So, it's either 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, or 1.0. So, pili tayo dito sa, sa tatlo. Saan siya feasible? Okay? So, pinakamalapit siya dito sa ating uh, 0.75. So, 
bakit niya ba sin- sinasabing determine the nearest one fourth? Kasi mga bis, siguro sa tingin ko lang in my own opinion, 'di ba kapag sa mga hardware, 'di ba? Yung mga sizes naman kasi sa mga hardware wala ka namang hindi ka naman pwedeng pumunta sa hardware tapos sasabihin mo, pabili po ako nitong uh, diameter ng pin 0.6757, 0.6957, 'di ba? Wala. Yung mga ano doon standard sizes is like uh, a half inch, parang 10 inch ganun lang mga bis, no? Walang walang gantong eksaktong ano. So, siguro yun yung meaning nito. Okay. So, bakit hindi natin pinili yung 0.5? Kapag pinili natin yung 0.5, mga bis, that is lesser than our desired diameter. Ibig sabihin, magfi-fail ngayon yung ating uh, system. Magfi-fail yung ating pin. E di pag nasira yan, patay. Kapag malaking building yan, gugugo yan. Ayun. Tapos, for, for example, pag pinili natin yung 1, okay lang naman. Safe na safe. Pero yung problema, mas mahal, di ba? Mas malaki, mas mahal. So, yung target natin dito, dapat safe siya at the same time, economical, okay? Pero kung mayaman-yaman ka naman, sige, go ka. Doon ka sa uno, di ba? So, ayun mga bis. I hope uh, nakatulong to sa inyo. Medyo komplikado, pero I think kayang-kaya nyo naman, no? Practice lang talaga, practice lang. Intindihin nyo yung concept. Hinay-hinay lang, huwag magbadade. Mahirap talaga, walang bagay na madali. And yeah, it is just with practice that will make us better with this kind of uh, calculation. So ayun mga bis, dito na nagtatapos itong ating video. Kapag may katanungan kayo or kung may maliman akong nasabi or solution, feel free to comment down below and I will accept my mistake. Tatama natin yan. So we create a harmonic environment dito sa ating channel. So muli, ako po yung gubuyog na nagpapalala sa inyong maglakbay, mag-enjoy, maglaro, manaliksik, maging matinik. Chubby. Out.